Hey Brexit, it's Frank here from AFP, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite songs in the world, Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. And if you watched my video on Another Brick in the Wall, uh, I started off by saying, if you haven't heard Pink Floyd's music, go out and check it out. It's, it's beautiful. All their music is great. I love Dave Gilmore's style of playing guitar. I love Roger Waters' writing. Amazing. What a band. And, you know... You could learn a lot on if you're a beginner guitarist. You could learn a lot from about tonality and about lyricism from Pink Floyd. So this song is going to well for this video. We're going to start off with just the beginning of the song, um, and the beginning of the song uses three chords: G major, E minor, and A seven sus four. All right, and the beginning of the song kind of sounds like this, the beginning part. All right, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hammer on on the open A string to the second fret. And well, first things first, like a G, like a G major chord, or an o, you know, like a G chord, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start off by having your, your pinky on the third fret of the E and your ring finger on the third fret of the B. Because it's helpful to get to G and E with having your fingers already in this position. So like, you know, if I wanna, I don't really have to move my fingers around. So what you're gonna wanna do is ha making sure that you have your pinky and ring finger there. You're gonna wanna go to your open A string and hammer on to the second fret. And then Hit your hit your open D string, and place your middle finger on the second fret. So it should sound like this. And then you strum down. So. After you've you're gonna hit the D string while keeping your finger on the second fret and hit the G string like that. So it's D on uh, your middle finger on the second fret of the D and you're gonna hit G and then return to the D string like this. So all that together should sound like this. I'll do that one more time. And once you got that, you take your uh, middle finger and pl move it to the third fret of the E for your G. So all that together sounds like this. Sorry. So you strum G twice.
or you actually, sorry, I not hold strum G trust. So you, you kind of hold on to G right there. So. Hold on to G. And then what we're going to do is you're going to hit the third fret of the E and repeat that hammer on sequence from the beginning of that part. Like at the beginning, I taught you, except for we're adding the G now. So all together, we have it sounding like this. You're just adding this extra note at the end of that. So. So he comes to a part where he does, uh, Dave Gilmore that is, goes to and then you, what you're going to do is take your middle finger and pull off, not necessarily pull off, but it's a second fret to open D and then second fret to open A. So all together. So to get this A sus seven chord, what we're gonna do is you're going to, like if you were doing that, like if you were doing that E minor chord over that G, you're gonna move over a string like this. Like I was right here on the A, now I'm here. And it's a, it's like an open, it's like an, if you were gonna make an A chord, but you're just keeping your uh, ring and pinky on the third fret of the B and E. So it should sound like this. So all together it would be, play that again one more time just to fix that so second fret of the A, open, back to G. So all together, it sounds something like this. Back to E, A7, 
7 sus 4. Back to G. All right, so if you have any questions or, or comments about um, the lesson and, and you, you want me to get more in depth with a certain part, please leave a, your question in the comment below and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Um, stay tuned for the next part. I'm going to show you the next part of the song where we, we'd sing over and go into the chorus. All right, have a good one, guys.